What's up and welcome back to the channel. We've got a lot left to do on this Porsche, so let's get right into it. The first thing we need to do is get the car and the front splitter prepped for paint, get in the booth and start getting this thing painted. All right, so we've got the Porsche sanded. It's in the booth, it's all taped up and ready to go. First thing we need to do, let's get my paint suit on. All right, so we've got our paint suit on. And we've also got our PPE on, which is our personal protection equipment. The first thing we're gonna do to the car is blow everything off and then we'll wipe it down with a wax and grease remover. And we're gonna be using this prep all here. Once it's wiped down, we'll blow it off again and then tack it off with a tack rag. The first thing we're gonna be spraying on the car is going to be a gray sealer. We're gonna be using PPG's EnviroBase ECS 65. Now this is a three one-to-one -one product, which means we're gonna put three parts of this, mix it with one part of hardener and one part of reducer. Once we get it mixed up, we're gonna spray it on the car. All right, so we've got our sealer sprayed on there and we're giving it about a 15 minute flash time. Now the next step is start putting on some color. Now we're gonna be using PPG's EnviroBase Waterborne Base Coat and we're gonna be applying three coats on there. Now we'll, in between coats, we'll be blowing it dry with a blower like this because air movement really helps speed up the process of the flash times. So once we get our three coats on, we'll be ready to clear. All right, so we've got all three coats of base coat sprayed on there. We've got it flashed off using our little blower here. And the next step is gonna be clear coat. We've got a clear mixed up in the gun. We're gonna be applying three coats just in case we need to buff this thing. So let's start spraying. All right, so we've got all three coats of clear coat sprayed on there. Everything looks pretty good. Let's go check it out. All right, so I think the paint turned out awesome. We're gonna call it a day, let this thing dry overnight, and we'll see you in the morning. All right, so this Cayman's been drying overnight. Let's get it untaped and start putting it back together.
All right, so we've got most of the sheet metal hung on the car. So the next thing I'm gonna do is to start putting together these radiator assemblies. All right, so you can tell this thing's broken, broken pretty good. And we knew it was broken before we took it apart, so we got a new one. But we did check the fan shroud and the fan and this bracket and make sure they were okay. So what we have to do now is put these two pieces on the new radiator. All right, so this radiator was damaged in the crash. This is the, for the left side of the vehicle, the driver's side. Got a new radiator, new fan assembly and shroud, new hoses and a new bracket. So let's get this all put together. So here's a little trick when you're putting on radiator hoses on a Porsche. See that little indentation on the hose right there? It lines up with this little mark here. Same thing with this one. You see there's a little indentation? It lines up with this mark. The same thing with this end of the hose. There's a little indentation there on the hose, and it lines up with that little mark on the piece. So it tells you which way that hose needs to go. All right, so we've got our radiator assemblies put together, so let's get them put on the car. All right, so this car has three radiators. One here, one in the center, and one here. And what we need to do is make some mesh grills to fill these holes to help protect the radiators from small debris. So this is the mesh that we're gonna be using. So I need to cut it out, so I'm gonna make some templates. And what I did was I used a piece of cardboard and traced out the opening, and then I outlined it with this tape to give me a little bit of cushion. So I'm gonna take a razor blade and cut these out to verify that these are the correct size. And then I can use the templates to cut out the mesh. All right, so we've got our grills cut out using our templates, and the customer thought that the grills would look better with a matte black finish instead of the silver. So we're going to etch prime these things, then we're gonna spray our black on there. All right, so we've got our grills painted matte black. They've already dried and they look great, so let's go ahead and get them put in the bumper. So these radiator ducts are designed to have a AC condenser that sits in this little void here. And I've got one here to show you what it looks like. This would normally be sitting right in front of the radiator and would fill that void. But we're not going to run AC condensers on this race car. So there's an opening here 
and air will want to go around the radiator and not run through the radiator. So we have to fill this little hole here. So what I've done is I took some ABS, cut out some little plastic pieces, and I'm gonna tape them in to fill the void. All right, so we've got the little fillers I made. Got them taped in to this duct here. Everything's good and secure. We're gonna get this put on the car. All right, so we've got the grills put in the bumper. We also got the lower splitter put on and if you'll notice this large area here is normally not this big on a Cayman. There's a fog lamp that sits right here and there's a, a little piece of trim that sits right here also and this is all blocked off. So to get more airflow to the radiator we open up this whole area. Now the duct has only an opening about that big so there's a void here that we have to direct the air down through the radiator hole. So let me show you what I did to, to correct that. So you can see where the fog lamp would sit in this little pocket right here. And when you put the bumper up there, there's an opening that's not really directing air through the radiator. So what I have to do, or what I did, is I made this little piece of plastic here out of ABS, trimmed it out to where it would fit, and it's riveted to the duct here. And with the bumper on there, it holds it up like this, and it directs the air. Instead of going back behind it, it will direct the air down through the radiator. So this Cayman has a third radiator. It's this one right here, right in the middle. It comes in right in the center of the bumper. The air comes in through the radiator and it actually exits through the back here out this little duct coming out the bottom of the bumper. Now on the 911s, they actually, when, it, when the air comes in the center here, if you'll look on the bumpers, there's little cutouts on the top of the bumper where the air exit out the top. But on the Caymans, out the bottom. And that proposes a problem for us because the splitter that we have does not have any holes down here in the bottom. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So as you can see, Right here is where the radiator sits and the air comes through and actually exits through these little squares that are cut out in the bumper cover itself. This carbon fiber splitter we have does not have these holes. So what I've done is I've marked it. I took a drill and I drilled out each corner. So I'm going to take me a little sawzall and cut me out little squares for the air to come out. All right, so what I'm going to do now is take the splitter off of the bumper cover because it'll make it a lot easier for me to cut out these little squares. So now that I've got the splitter off, you can actually see the little squares that I've got marked and you can see the holes really well where I've drilled. Basically going to use this little pneumatic saw here, cut some straight lines in between the holes to get those squares cut out. Alright, so we got them all cut out. Let's get this thing put back on the bumper. And after the splitter's on, we'll get the bumper put on the car. Here's what those little squares look like for the exit of the center radiator. It comes right out these holes here. The next thing we need to do is go ahead and get our belly pans put back on the bottom of this Porsche. We've got the Cayman put back together. Let's give it a walk around. So it turned out really good. We did have to raise this car up because that splitter was really low to the ground and I'm not sure if we could even get it on the trailer. This car has coilovers. So we just basically took the wheels off and uh, 
lifted it up with the coilovers. They'll have to set the ride height when it gets back over to the race shop. But overall, this car turned out really nice. We'll get the interior wiped down because they do get pretty dusty sitting in a body shop. They're going to be putting a rear spoiler on this car. So, yeah, looks good. So let's get this thing cleaned up. We'll get it loaded up on the trailer so we can take it back to the customer. Just because you're running five mile an hour over the speed limit, don't mean you can stay in the left lane. Some of us really trying to break the law. <laughs> now that's the truth. All right, so that's gonna be about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, comment in the comment section. You know what to do. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. See ya.